And that's how you effectively clean a Ruger New Vaquero. Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and if we are meeting for the first time, I'm here to provide educational videos on the Western shooting sports. So if you're interested in stuff like that, hit that subscribe button for me. Take a cotton ball and tear a small piece of it. Wad it up and place it into the muzzle. Spray simple green into the barrel until you feel the bore is saturated enough to your liking. Take another cotton ball and break it into six smaller pieces big enough to seal the chambers of the cylinder. Place the cotton ball pieces in either end of the cylinder and spray simple green into each chamber until it is saturated. Saturate each piece of the weapon with simple green until it is completely covered. Place all of the pieces that are extremely light or tiny into a small jar or magnetic plate. Saturate the container with simple green and then swirl the excess liquid around so that it covers all of the small parts. Flip all of the pieces over and then saturate them all with a second coat of simple green. Take a nylon brush and scrub all of the visible grime from each piece until it is to your liking. Then place each piece into the soapy water container. For the areas with hard carbon buildup, use a stiff wire brush. Take your bore brush and cleaning rod and then run it through the bore of the gun several times to loosen the grime in the barrel. Take a bore snake and run it through the bore several times until the bore has no more visible grime in it. If you do not have a bore snake, use cleaning patches and your cleaning rod instead. To ensure the bore is clean, shine a bore light from the breech and visibly inspect the bore. The bore should look something like this after you have cleaned it with you being able to see the rifling in the barrel and no powder or grime. Take your bore brush and run it through each of the chambers in the cylinder several times. Take your wire brush and scrub the front of the cylinder with it while periodically wiping it down with a gun rag or paper towel applying simple green as necessary. Repeat this process until most of the powder residue is removed. The end result, the cylinder mostly free of carbon. Take your bore snake and run it through each chamber of the cylinder until they are generally free of grime. Repeat this process until the chambers are clean. To ensure the chambers are clean, shine a bore light down each chamber and visually inspect it. Shiny and mostly free of carbon. Once all of the major pieces are in the bucket of water, take your container of small parts and visually inspect to see which ones need to be scrubbed free of grime. After you have scrubbed them, place all of the small parts into the soapy water. Take a paper towel or clean rag and lay it flat on your cleaning surface. Remove all of your major parts and place them on the rag to dry. The tiny parts that are easily lost must be placed into a clean jar or magnetic plate to dry. Speed up the drying process by using a hair dryer and going over each piece until no water is visible. Don't use your significant other's hair dryer. <laughs> Get your own. I'm speaking from personal experience. Now put on your gloves to ensure you don't leave fingerprints and to prevent the weapon from moisture during storage. Saturate your jar of small parts with brake free and swirl the excess fluid around so that each piece is covered. Spray each piece on your clean cloth with brake free until they are saturated. Spray brake free down the bore of the gun. You can use lubed cleaning patches if you prefer. Flip over each piece and repeat the process. <laughs> 